In this video, we would like to derive a relation between two different expansion coefficients of gas. First, let me explain quickly that when you are talking about expansion of the gases, effect of the pressure cannot be ignored. Pressure also plays an important role with respect to pressure, temperature varies. With respect to volume also, temperature varies. So there are three parameters to study the expansion. As it is confusing to study these three parameters simultaneously, we will do it in two ways. One possibility is we keep pressure constant and study the variation of volume with respect to temperature. Let initial volume at 0 degree centigrade is V0, at T degree centigrade is Vt. And the difference in the volume of a gas is directly proportional to initial volume and also directly proportional to difference in temperature. Then Vt minus V0 is directly proportional to V0 of delta T RT. We can eliminate that proportionality with a constant volume expansion coefficient of a gas at constant pressure which can be defined as alpha equal to, we can define from here, alpha equal to Vt, change in the volume of a gas to its original volume at 0 degree centigrade per 1 degree centigrade rise in temperature. If I take V0 to that side in the above equation, Vt will become V0 plus alpha V0 into delta T. V0 is common. 1 plus alpha into delta T, this is Vt. All this is happened at constant pressure, right? So, pressure is constant whether you take the temperature. As the pressure is constant, it means when you say Pt or P0, both are same because we are at 0 degree centigrade as well as 3 degree centigrade. The pressure is kept same. Now, let us take this equation and multiply this equation with pressure. I can multiply with Pt or P0 because both are equal. So, on the left hand side, I will call it as Pt and of course, Vt equal to. In the place of right hand side, I will call it like P0. Hope you understand what I have done. I have multiplied this equation with Pt or P0. Here I have written a Pt, here I have written a P0. But that doesn't make any difference because Pt and P0 are anyway same. So you got one equation in that case. Pt Vt equal to, yeah, just a second. Pt Vt equal to P0 V0 of 1 plus alpha T. That is equation number 1. That is the case when you keep pressure constant. But there is another possibility. What is that another possibility is? If we keep not pressure, but if we keep volume constant, means what? Volume at T degree centigrade or volume at 0 degree centigrade is the same, that is constant in that case. So, let me write that case when volume is kept constant, I can say change in the pressure, this is at 0 T degree centigrade, this is at 0 degree centigrade, is directly proportional to initial pressure and is also directly proportional to change in temperature for a given gas at constant volume. You combine both of them, you eliminate the proportionality, you get a constant beta, where beta is called pressure expansion coefficient of a gas at constant volume, beta equal to ratio of change in the pressure to its original pressure per 1 degree centigrade rise in temperature. Now, to this equation, we will multiply with, like we have done here, let us multiply with either Vt or V0. Of course, let us take from here P0 to that side, P0 plus beta P0 into T 
so pt equal to p0 of 1 plus beta delta t now let us multiply this equation with this vt or v0 so what happens pt vt here i can write either vt or v0 but i am writing vt p0 v0 here also i can write v0 vt but i am writing v0 because its neighboring is having a zero 1 plus beta into delta t so if you observe these equations carefully this is pt vt this is also pt vt both the lhs are equal so i can definitely equate the rhs so equating these two equations like 1 and 2 gives you what equating 1 equal to 2 on rhs side as lhs is anyway equal yeah look at that p0 v0 of 1 plus alpha delta t from equation number 1 is p0 v0 of 1 plus beta delta t from equation number 2 p0s v0s can be cancelled one also can be cancelled delta t also cancelled everything is cancelled except alpha equal to beta so i want you to understand one thing that it doesn't make a difference among these three whom you keep constant and study the other two the expansion is same you keep pressure constant or volume constant you find that the coefficient of volume expansion of gas at constant pressure equal to the coefficient of pressure expansion of a gas at a constant volume now i just want to extend this a little further and tell you something more yeah let us see say you have drawn a, a graph taking the temperature on x axis and volume on y axis at constant pressure what you can notice is you raise the temperature volume of the gas increases but you reduce the temperature volume of the gas reduces and somewhere at a particular temperature minus 273 degrees centigrade volume of the gas becomes zero that's why this particular temperature is called absolute zero any gas you take by the time minus 273 comes volume of the gas becomes zero it converts into another formats of liquids uh, of the matter like liquids and uh, solids so what we can say yet minus 273 degrees centigrade volume of the gas equal to zero now you know the relation volume of the gas vt equal to v0 of 1 plus alpha into delta t vt equal to 0 equal to v0 of 1 plus alpha delta t is minus 273 minus 0 that is minus 273 so 1 minus alpha into 273 equal to 0 1 is alpha into 273 alpha is 1 by 273 per degree centigrade so you got a very important conclusion that volume expansion coefficient of a gas at constant pressure is 1 by 273 it is fixed for any gas whatever the gas you take it means to say all gases expands in the same way now i will change the uh, graph slightly on the left hand on the graph and again you take temperature only on x axis but this time you take not the volume but the pressure of the gas at constant volume reverse and to the surprise the graph also that graph also behaves in the same way that means at minus 273 degrees centigrade pressure of any gas becomes zero that's why the temperature is called absolute zero temperature basing on that a scale is designed called absolute scale or kelvin scale so everything gets repeated and we can say so let me say at l is a different color yeah minus 273 degree centigrade pressure of the gas equal to zero so taking this equation into consideration zero equal to p0 of 1 plus beta into minus 273 
there you get beta is also equal to 1 by 273. You need not do that actually because we have already proved alpha equal to beta. So, the final conclusion is for any gas, alpha equal to beta equal to 1 by 273 per degree centigrade. Whether you keep pressure constant or volume constant, expansion of all the gases behaves in the same way. Their expansion coefficient is 1 by 273. That's a very important understanding that I want you to get it, right? Thank you for watching.